everybody, what's going on? I'm gonna do a video today on MSPs. Most impactful or top 10 favorites of the entire season. Now this isn't gonna be like, hey, this is my favorite MSP to date. It's gonna be when they were released, they were my favorite MSP out of their group, or they were the most impactful out of their group. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. So if you hear me say a name that came out in October, no, I don't think that card is still overpowered today. I'm just saying when that card came out, it was an impactful card and a, and a favorite one to use. Now impactful could be, you know, elite in certain categories or someone I just used an awful lot or even with one case in particular, somebody I played against a lot and played against a lot throughout the year and you could still notice how impactful they were. And if you like my list, you think it's you think it's spot on with your list, give it a thumbs up, maybe even say down below like I agree, or if you have a different list, put that in the comment section down below, guys, with your top 10 most impactful or favorite MSPs that came out this year. Because with the two MSPs that got dropped Friday, I would almost uh, I would almost be pretty confident saying with a month left that um, MSPs and, and events and new content is pretty much coming to an end in 24. In 23, it's going to get start to dry up. You're going to see less and less. And uh, I thought today would be a good time to do the MSP list. So with that being said, I hope you do enjoy it. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave in the comment section down below with your list. And if you don't wanna miss anything in the future, like when we dive into NHL 24 here, cause it is getting close, hit that sub button notification bell, guys. We are closing in on 1500. We are so close. It's been amazing, your guys' support. And uh, we're, we're super close to 1500 subs. So let's see if we can get that, guys, before NHL 24 pops off and go from there. But let's get into it. I hope you do enjoy it. Now, with this being said, they are not in order by any means. It's not like a 10 to 1, a 1 to 10, or anything. Because they're all impactful in their own way, and they're all favorites in their own way at different times of the year. I'm not going to say one of these cards that I'm going to be talking about here is more impactful than this Spotlight card. But what I'm saying is they're all impactful at the time and a favorite of mine. And when you come to this early in the year, the spotlight card, the most impactful player, in my opinion, at this time of year was the Jared McCann card. Being six foot one with 91 speed, unstoppable force, 83 faceoff wasn't the best, but you could get Thief on him, bringing him up to an 86, which at that time of the year, 86 faceoff, 91 speed at six foot one with unstoppable force. This card was unbelievable believable and yes it was a difference maker and it was something that everyone had and if you don't remember this jared mccann card it was elite at the time so this jared mccann card they did a fantastic job on it and yes it is one of my top 10 and then that's going to bring us to the milestone event and there was a lot of good milestone cards but one that makes the top 10 out of all the MSPs for Impactful and Elite is Team Solani. He had that great shot. He had close quarters. He had wheels. And he had 94 speed at 6 foot, which at 89 overall was hard to come by throughout that time of the year, that early in the year. And he was super impactful. And again, everybody had him. And it was something you got hit with nonstop. But not only that, this Team Solani card was effective for about a month and a half after he came out. It wasn't a card that you it wasn't it wasn't one of those MSPs that you got and two weeks later you got rid of because it just wasn't playing the same or playing as well anymore. He was dominant for about a month and a half after his card came out, even longer for some teams. Now this one here in Nations of Hockey, I'm sure you know who I'm gonna talk about. There's actually two in here. Um one I never actually had on my team, but was super frustrating to play against him all the time because of how well he played. Um, his one knock was he couldn't get to the wrap, but no goalie could get to the wrap, so we can't hold that against him. But that is Goodlevsky. Goodlevsky was unreal, and people still use him today. Like You still see his card being used right now because people will find a goalie they like, and you just ride it out, right? Six foot four is borderline on the short side but six foot four still manageable where you don't get over the shoulder as easy and uh and, and 90 overall is enough and Goodlevsky was that impactful card that you could still be using today and some people still are but he was a frustrating player to play against and you've seen him everywhere now i said two in nations of hockey which is true because jack eichel was a beast he had six foot two so check off that 90 speed right but 92 speed so check off that thief which made him an 88 face off so you could use him at center or the wing 92 speed 
was usable on the wing, right? You wanted speed on the wing, but 88 faceoff made it accessible if you had faster wingers like the Timu Solani. You could put him at faceoff, you could put him at center and have Timu on the wing and Jared McCann on the other side for that matter, and that was a heck of a line this early in the year. But not only that, come with wheels and make it snappy also made this card brilliant. And uh, yeah, I used this card. I would definitely say he's in my top 10 for uh, impactful and favorite MSPs that came out this year. Now, if you were around for the all-star MSPs or thereafter, there was one in particular that you made, and that was the Shea Weber. Six foot four, truculence was unreal with unstoppable force. Made this card really good. He had 90 speed, but you could get wingman on him to make him 92 speed at six foot four with truculence and unstoppable force. It was ridiculous. And he had a bomb from the point. 99 slap shot, 99 accuracy. It was it was absolutely a bomb. And this card was effective two, three events from when it came out. So it was it was good to have and it was everyone had it to chase it until uh until some later defensemen came out like Mebus and them. But uh but yeah, this Shea Weber card was very, very good. Staying in the all-star for another top ten is Tyler Sagan. And not a lot of people uh not a lot of people used or liked this card. Uh, there was a, there was a couple that would I would talk to in stream, and they'd say, yeah, the Sagan's been good, surprisingly, and then other people would say the Sagan's terrible, and you'd ask them how many times they used him, and they said he didn't. They just looked at the card and it looked bad. But this card played fantastic. Yes, he had 99 faceoffs, so that was great. But then he also had 93 speed at six foot one and elite edges. This card was a really impactful card at the time the All Star event came out, and he was on my third line of a god squad mind you doing doing work now we're gonna skip all the way to trade deadline we pass next gen because next gen had good names in it but not really impactful cards when it came to impactful cards that i went off of it was the card did the work not you had to do the work and connor bedard's card was good but you had to be really good on the sticks to keep him from getting bumped off the puck so easily now anthony mantha was not the case. Anthony Mantha being six foot five with ninety one speed, and you could actually get him to ninety three acceleration, ninety two speed with his with his synergies, and then having close quarters and big rig and make it snappy were absolutely fantastic and made this card impactful. I've still actually played this card today, where you'll see him on some people's teams. Mind you, he's on the fourth line, but you will catch teams where you see Anthony Mantha playing, and he has been absolutely solid, and he's, he's still tough to knock off the puck today, which makes him one of the top 10 impactful and favorite MSPs that NHL 23 had. Now, this is going to be more of a favorite of mine, being John Tavares. He was on the team for way too long, but he was still good throughout that whole time he was on the team, and it was because of not only his synergies that got him up to a 95 speed, but his abilities were absolutely god tier he had unstoppable force no contest big tipper close quarters and gold quick draw that was the perfect combination for this card if you stacked every single one of these on you could probably have left con no contest off but if you had unstoppable force close quarters big tipper and quick draw this card was phenomenal and definitely definitely was an elite impact game changing card at the time of its release that's why it's in my top 10 because he was just so good there would be 96 97 john Tavares comes out came out and i wouldn't get them because i had this card and he was better on paper with his stats and his abilities so he just performed better and i loved this john Tavares card now when it comes to msp's impactfulness it wouldn't be right not having mebus in here right gold truculence six foot nine 94 speed unbelievable card and crazy impactful he was at first a lot for people to get used to uh at first people were like ah he's sluggish blah blah, blah. but he turned into an absolute weapon and uh he was super impactful and game changing at the time his msp dropped and everybody was chasing it and making it because of that six foot nine 227 frame oh such a good card and then the last card in the top 10 out of the most impactful or favorite MSPs of mine would have to be Luke Shen. I had him on my Leafs theme team, the 96 overall Luke Shen with gold truculence, 94 speed, but with synergies, you can get him up to a 96. He was unbelievable. And I used this card up until about June, late June, early July, I was using this card. Um, and it was just, uh, against 99s, he was still 
holding his own, taking them off the puck, out skating them. This card was probably, in my opinion, this card was one of the most impactful cards and greatest cards that NHL 23 had. And I, I loved having him on my team, and it, it sucked getting rid of him, but we're on to the Summer of Chell team, and that team is looking fantastic. I do want to thank you guys for watching the video. It means a lot to me. I, I really do appreciate it, and I hope you guys really do enjoy them. I really do. And leave in the comment section down below what you thought of these MSPs, because these are truly my favorite, and personally the ones that I thought were most impactful throughout the year. I didn't include Team of the Season. I didn't include Team of the Year. I didn't include Evo, because those cards are just god tier on their own. And I left Summer of Chell out, because they're 99s, and 99s are awesome. But as these 99s come out, there's so many 98, 99 cards that it, it just... It's not, they're not as impactful as, let's say, the 88 Jared McCann was back in October. But I appreciate you guys for hanging out, watching the video, and until next time, guys. Ciao, ciao.